I warmly welcome you once again to this particular platform. Uh, please, this is John Apia, and I'll be your trainer throughout this particular training. And this training is about, or uh, it, it entails how to master your Excel. And we are going to use Excel, um, a project based um, tutorial. So we are going to have a project and we use the project to master our Excel skills. So this particular training is basically meant for teachers, for students, for businessmen who, who normally use Excel for their calculations and others, or any other profession that use Excel. So after this lesson, you should be able to use Excel to do so many other things, so many automations, so many manipulations and others. So please, let's focus on this particular training and then let's benefit from it. Now, before we start with the, the first lesson, I want you to, to show you an application that I've developed using the Excel. This is an SBA, a school-based assessment for GHS. And after this lesson, that is the project that we are going to develop. So after this training, you should be able to develop something like what you are about to see. Okay, so now if you launch that particular app or that particular system, this interface, this is the uh, uh, the, um, the 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 dashboard that you are going to encounter. Now, when you see this dashboard, you see you can you can go to the student for me. That's where you start from. So you click on the student information list. So that's where it will tell you to enter your serial number. So you are going to enter your serial. So you see that. It will allow you to enter the details of your students. So we start with the serial number. Serial number is normally start from one. So we start from one to to the last person. If the student have their IDs, you can just add the IDs, the name, then their class will come here. So with this particular site, I think you can do that at the end of the term, the conduct, but there are some other things here. Let's let's scroll here and see something here. Okay. So you you enter the class then the normal row the normal row is automatic so when you enter the first person you see that the normal row will be one so let me enter another person's name here okay a random um id then the person name is let's say um let me use cars okay so something like this so you see that the moment you enter the person's name the normal row will what will increase so that is we are going to do that in this particular training how to um uh, give a formula for that then you can enter your academic year then the term will come and attendance the total attendance then the conduct how you are going to use a drop down for your conduct so you can see that when you select it you're going to see the list of conduct that you can select from any of them okay then you go to the interest then the, the vacation date the open date and then the promotion so you you do the same so that when you start you can just use it to promote your student okay so so basically that is the first interface so after entering the student information here you go back to your dashboard then you see that there are various subjects here so you need to select each of the subjects then you enter the scores the class scores and the other scores of each particular student based on the class based on the subjects rather okay so you see that the name that you entered all appeared on the subject sheet so any subject that you select you're going to see the name there then you just enter your marks there so let's try something here so let me enter let's say 15 uh, 14 here um 15 here Actually, this particular session that I've been programmed to take 15. So when you try to enter 20, it will give an error that it is more than 20, it is more than 15. So that is what the data validation, we are going to do that one in this particular training. Okay, so we enter the range, the, the selected, the required range, then you can see that the moment you enter it, you will be giving the calculation, you will the total, then it will convert to 50%. Based on how you want, you can use you can convert it to 70, you can convert it to 30 based on how you, your assess, assessment is. Then you have the exam score to the exam score and enter the exam score. It will give you the conversion. Then it will add the total of exams and then the, exam, the class score. Then it give you the total. It will generate a position for you, then the grade, then it will give you a max. We are going to do that in this particular training. So now we have 
able to enter all the maths, the scores of the, sub the student based on their subject. Now we are going to check the, 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 the overall score, the other master list. So let's go to master list. So when you go to master list, you are going to see the 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 the, 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 the total score, that is the scores of the, of the students and the various subjects on a broad sheet. So at a go, you can identify and see the person who was first, second, and then in that order. Okay, so you can see them from here. Okay, now the next thing is that is the, the most important thing is to generate the report. Now let's go to generate report. So in this particular session, the report is actually uh, done at the back stage, at the back end. So we are not going to see this the report sheet on your on your system but you are going to see it after it has been generated so because it's going to generate everything for you so now when you get to this session you now come to this session here where it says select folder so you select click on it to go to your 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 this in your system then select folder so let me let me select a folder so that i can track um let me use this one and um okay i think okay let me use this particular folder that the will press b folder okay then click on okay so now i've selected the folder where all my results all my um, um generated reports will be saved so after selecting the folder the the the, the file location then i click on pdf so it will click to now generate the pdf for me so so that there are only two people in the in the in the form or in the system students that entered their data there are only two that means two reports will be generated for me so you can see that report generated itself so i click on ok and you go to your your system the location where you 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 did the um you, you selected so you can see that i select your press b so you see the name you're gonna appear that's the first person name. then the second person with echo so let's try to enter it see that it will give you the the term uh, basically the term and then the class so let's open it okay so you see that when you open it okay so you are going to see the students details here so everything is here in that okay so the name the class um the year academic year the term the aggregate is here the normal rule everything it will generate everything for you the report for you so you can in the report you can just add your your signature so that the moment it generates it generates the, the report for you the um, the this thing the signature for you so that you there's no need for you to send it to the other master to sign it so all all the, you need is what like the stamp the school stamp so you just put a school stamp on it so everything will be generated for you everything so let's go to the next person and see the results so you see that this person got the aggregate um aggregate 41 okay so let's check the other one too um okay that one's also got the 54 good so you can see that it has that it, it did the generation did everything for us so all you need is just get your printer and then pop, you just print your report okay so this is the particular system that we are going to develop in this particular training so um let's stay focused and then meet me in the first lesson thank you